So my name is Alyssa Pruitt. I'm a double major in English and Psychology. Um, more about mental health and um, I just like to connect with people in that sense because I feel like everyone goes through something with mental health so I just like to connect and like for people to connect with others and to like understand one another. Um, mine was a poetry piece I've been working on. Um, like, so my whole thing was reminiscence of her. Um, that's like the whole aspect of it. There are little mini pieces of poetry all in one because I one day want to make something out of it, like a book or something. Like, I'm, I really love poetry. Um, yeah, again, just mental health aspect of that and um, just connecting with other people. Mm, people that could relate to the poetry that I'm trying to get across. Um, at first it was me, but now that I see, like now that I've grown from that moment, because once I feel the emotion, I write it down, it's no longer mine, it's more for everyone else. So I guess whoever could um, relate. Mm, again, for my love of poetry, um, I've loved poetry since I think I was in eighth grade and I had an English teacher and it was like the poetry unit. I was terrible at poetry, but she made it, she taught us in a way where poetry doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could be um, it doesn't have to have a flow, it could just be random, like free write. And at the time I was going through a hard time, so it, was, it came very easy to me after what she said. And I just started writing from there. I would say when writing, you always just free write. Write down how you feel, what you feel, and how you can relate to others. And then eventually you could go back at it, like hold it off, like write it down, hold it off for a couple days, come back to it, see if like your idea has changed, write more, and then you could like critique it and change it up so you could find a flow, um, you could change words around to mean a different thing. And um, it doesn't have to always be like A, B, A, B scheme. It could just be um, just a normal piece, kind of like music, how people could just talk about anything and make anything. It, it could be like that. I would say political wise, like women's rights and stuff. Um, what really hit me these, this past year, like the beginning of this year was um, like abortion rights and cause that was like being stripped from us and I really don't like politics, but just what was being said at the time, I wrote about it and made it into a poem. So um, I guess it just helped me get that like anger and frustration onto something else rather than keeping it in. I'm more timeless. Um, I talk about um, the way other people feel, mental health. So I feel like everyone goes through that. Um, there's never gonna be a time where everyone's gonna be happy. And there's not. There's gonna always be a time where everyone is gonna go through something, and it might not be their time. It could be um, they could be happy one day. Something dramatic happened or they don't like something that has been said and they can relate to it later and constantly be relating to it as they grow older. At first, so I started again in high school um, writing poetry and though my teachers will always like encourage me to submit it somewhere to get published um, I've gotten like three poems published 
um, and like an anthology for three years, like one poem for each year. And that's how it started and my school recognized that and they interviewed me, they had me speak in front of the whole student body. Um, they made it into like a poetry mic night and um, that's when I started or like an influxation of poets like stepping up and like starting, like that's when I noticed that it's not just me, it's a whole community out there. And um, now that I'm here at UTRGB, I noticed that there's a lot of opportunity. Like someone told me about the scholar um, symposium. I submitted it thinking really nothing of it. They said, oh, we like your work. You should come speak. I spoke. And um, that, was a, 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 that was a new experience. And I even like connected up with my writing professor went to um, a couple poetry reads with a lot of other poets and it really like opened my eyes that it's like really interesting community and it's not just you, it's everybody. Mm, for me, it's always been write what you know and what I know is um, mental health because I've gone through it um, I'm currently going through it, so I feel like you just write what you know and people who understand and can relate will follow. And I mean, if they don't like your work, it's not for them to hear. It's not like they're not ready to hear it yet until they understand and can relate. It doesn't have to be anything difficult. Um, like people overthink writing is very hard, very complex, and it really isn't. Just if you think of like one word, you could find other words that relate to that one word and you could make something out of it. Um, kind of like, I always think of it like as construction work. Like I'm like, how could these people do like so beautiful buildings? Like what do they have to start with? Well, they need the foundation, they need the tools. And I feel like just a pen and paper are the tools and the foundation is your brain and you just pour it onto the paper. I would say the process of like submitting it was like, I wanted to make sure I got everything right. Um, Cause you never know like when you're submitting something new that you haven't tried before, it is nerve wracking. Um, so, but I had a lot of support from my peers, my boss, my friends and family, so they kind of like reassured me like it's going to be fine and I just waited to see what would come out of it. Mm, it was an interesting like event. I got to like speak in front of like students that are just going about their day. Um, and I hope I reached a certain audience where they enjoyed what I had to say. Um, so that was very interesting because um, I know that they may not be like paying attention, but they're listening. So I'm hoping that I made someone's day or I could relate to them and help them through what they're going through. So that was kind of like how I thought that like, I could help in some way when showcasing my work.